I need to move some unfinished work aside and fix something on main. Git solves this with stash. Can I use this in the IDE without much thinking? You're on a feature branch with some unfinished work as we see in the commit window. A colleague asks, can you fix something on main? You switch to main and crap. The feature branch has uncommitted work. Force checkout means losing our work. Don't check out. That's like canceling the branch change. Smart checkout. Eh, let's click that. Do it. What could go wrong? But that triggers a merge conflict and applies your changes to main. If you commit, it's going in too. Yeah, that. That could go wrong. Let's start back at the top. Your branch has uncommitted work. You could do a commit and maybe squash later to clean up the history. Or you could throw away all of your work, switch to main, come back and retype everything. You're not putting that in the video, right? Not a lot of good options. You're going to tell me the IDE has a solution for this. The IDE has a solution for this. On the feature branch with the uncommitted work, you can move that work aside temporarily using Git's stash facility. You can get to it with the Git menu under uncommitted changes. In the stash dialog, provide a name and click create stash. Look, no more pending work, neato. Switch to the main branch, make your change, commit, then go back to the feature branch. Let's get the unfinished work back. Paul, use the keyboard, said every commenter ever. Invoke search everywhere and search for unstash changes. This lists your stashes. It also has some controls for managing your stashes. Select your work in progress and click pop stash to delete the stash after applying it. Then click the pop stash button. Hey, get folks, stash, pretty cool name. Unlike Shelve, stashes can be reached outside the IDE, for example, the git command line. But it doesn't work when the target branch is dirty, uncommitted changes, and doesn't let you choose which parts to stash. It's all or nothing. Stash is an uptown git feature, which really simplifies bouncing around between branches. Let the IDE help put this within easy reach.